Matthew and the Gregorys. His relationship with Morgan, his uncle, remains uneasy, but he's decided to stay on at the farm. thing. She's cold, boy. I know she's bloody cold. You've got to stop out. That's it. Damn, she's a tough one. No marking. Now oh, look at the wool on her. You must have missed her last year. Hold on. Yeah, I reckon. Ah, uh, well. She won't go far. Pick her up on the way back. No. Right. There's a couple of sheep on the road by the common. Morgans? They know. Hey, have we got the dirt off or wash that towel? Didn't I lose the sheep for April the tar? Sheep. Used to be marked with tar, see? Sheep? That's right. Anyways, I'll take a look. Lady friend? Loyal, I'll say that, twice a week. Does she know about Sarah Griffiths? Get lost, Pew. I am lost with you, a love life boy. Lady friend back home. Sarah Griffiths, don't you? I've never spoken to Sarah Griffiths. Damn, and you've done near anything else? By lying in the road when the school bus come by. One of my fish died. It's a hard old world. What time will they get back? Well, they got a fair few strays together before dark. And there's snow on the top. What do you think to it now, say? Now you got muck on your boots. It's all right. Should have brought that boy of yours, Morgan. Show him some gathering. Ah, he's all for the tractor. Mrs. Lewis on the school bus says he do make eyes at my girl every morning. He wants to keep her mind on the road. Where's that dog of yours? Not used to working with other dogs. You only scrap. Not enough work for two dogs at Blyney, then. Plenty for a good one. You don't want all that land, Morgan. It's more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> don't mind to sell. The estate will sell to me. Makes sense. Top ten acre next to mine. What's that? Drive on. It's no job for you getting older, seeing it all change round your years. Tourism, man. Get the concrete down and the vans in. 
take the money. Let him get on with it. Yeah, I expect. Come on. Thanks, Harvey. Thanks, Glenn. The dog will get lost now. <laughs> I'll try not to. See you down the castle inn at the weekend. Go sheep in the morning, is it? I'll send the boys down. Right, Price? Oh, all right. There's the boy. A little on for a cup. Boiling. Just the job. You'll get off, did he? She picked him up half hour since. How far did you get? By half near enough. Get some sticks on that fire, Price. You want me to make the tea, do you? Good lad. There's a bottle on top of the cupboard. Good old Morgan. I'll give you a hand. Boy from Plasnow, we've come up here much, Morgan. He gives us a hand. Keep themselves to themselves over at Plasnow with. Well, it's hard for newcomers any age. Slow on their bills, I hear. Ah, uh, boy's all right. Quiet like. Send your boy up Castle in, Morgan. We'll show him the ropes. Yeah, I've got more sense and waste his money. <laughs> what have you got to teach anybody? Only trying to be friendly? My boy, I've got friends. Oh, take it easy, Morgan. Do you want to do a job for the Gregorys? Not much. A big party in a couple of weeks. So? Well, get the place ready, clear up, pass things round. Does this girl at home know you're trying to knock Sarah Griffiths off? Don't you fancy Sarah Griffiths? No. No smoking, no sex. It spoils your fitness. Which one? Oh, ha, ha. Keeping your body for the pad is wonderful. Everybody smokes in Vietnam. Saw it in a film. They'll smoke dope. Everybody did not smoke dope in Vietnam. I saw the bloody film. God, you're thick sometimes. Let's see it, then. Let's see this fantastic body in action. Oh, leave it, Lee. Oh, come on. Prove yourself, boy. Your turn. I wouldn't want to. Unless Sarah Griffiths was underneath. Very funny. Get away! Better go down. When this come? This morning. Get the bottle back on top of the cupboard. What's that for? You've been working. No, Tar. Take it, son. No. Don't want to be tied down like. That's right. Matthew can stay for a meal, can he? I expect. Are you all right? Do you want your chair? See?
Finger cut look. That's it. Now, bend him over. He won't break. You don't do all the edges like this. No more than I can help. Better job, mate, and keep the sheep empty. No grass growing much this time of year, and it'll be across the road and into the next field for the new. Well, they won't get through this. Bloody Odinis if they can. Where's Morgan going? Business, he said. How are you, Morgan? Fit and well. Sit down, won't you? Thanks, Sir Ferning. Glad you could come in. Good of you to see me of a Saturday. You got the letter, then? Now, the first thing, Morgan, is that there's nothing personal in this. Personal enough to me? It's simple economics. Look at it that way. I know about economics. Almost 50 years since your father took the tenancy of Blaney. September the 18th, 1935. That's exactly right. Times change, Morgan. The farm's been running down over the years, long before your mother died. Colonel Edwards never had no complaints. And the Colonel was always keener on a spotless farmyard than a profitable business. Pigs and cows were making good money then. And now you're shepherding a couple of hundred sheep on not the best land. Can't be easy for you on your own with just Pew Davis to help. Worst thing he ever did was listen to you. He had a place of his own. Now look at him, man. We gave him a good price for his farm. He's happy enough living with his daughter and son-in-law. He's past retirement age, makes a few bob working for you. He's got his health again. Remember the state he was in trying to run that great wreck of a farm on his own? Nothing wrong with me, Mr. Duncan. And in a few years' time, or if you have an accident, fall sick, what happens when Pew prefers his warm bed to turning out early for you? You'll face that when it comes. 120 acres, 300 sheep. When both your parents were alive, three of you working, the farm could just about manage. Manage well. You and your mother and the scale had to be reduced. The pigs went, yes? Half the cattle. Good grazing deteriorated back to rough pasture. And now there's just you and Mr. Davis. I got my sister's boy with me. Good, that must help. He's a good lad, a willing lad, and he learns well. We can see Bliny to rights. How long I got? Well, neither of us wants the trouble and expense of going to the land tribunal, do we? Solicitors, extra accountants fees. Under the terms of the act, I'm obliged to see if we can't make a settlement on common ground. How long? Well, the tribunal would want to have the matter settled within a, a reasonable time. I'd guess about a year, maybe longer. That's enough for me. I doubt it, Morgan. Unless you've got the capital to reclaim a great deal of land and buy in a lot more sheep. Anyway, the solicitor's letter was just to inform you officially that the estate would contest your succession to the tenancy on grounds of suitability. Damn, and I can make Blaney pay, sir. I'm suitable. Don't take it personally, Morgan. I'm at the sharp end, face to face with you, trying to give you an easier life and not involve the estate's accountants, solicitors and advisors. What's this estate with accountants and advisors? It was a man gave my father the tenancy, and a good man, too, who'd take his gun up behind Bliny for a bit of sport. What's this estate with you at the sharp end? I'm the estate man, and tenants like me. And I can tell you who's at the sharp end, sir, and it damn well ain't you. Skiving off to business. Business. You don't know anything about business. Get out from here. What? Get out. 
Go and do some damn work for a change. What the hell's wrong with you? Get out! Get out from here, boy. I'm not your bloody dog. up to the estate. How long before you're better off in your bed at home of a morning? What? They want me out. The boy caught the slipstream, sir. He gave me the option of a deal. You and Duncan? Give up the farm, he said. Give it, mind. Give it back to the estate. Sell up the stock and machinery for a lump sum to live on. And he gave me a house on the estate. Rent it. Small rent for the rest of my life. Money in your pocket and a roof over your head? That's about it. Don't tell the boy. Damn, it's nothing to do with me. I shouldn't have been sharp with him. Uh, he'll get over it. I did it right. I put in for the tenancy when the old lady passed on. They won't hand it down to you, say. Nothing personal, he said. Get the solicitor, he said. Warn the accountant, he said. Go to the tribunal next year if I don't take the deal. Uh, it's a gamble, the old tribunal. All or nothing. Don't tell the boy. You'd better tell him something. He damn near scorched me on his way out. I won't let you down. <laughs> Sheep's wanderer. Found her on the hills on her own. Same last year. Tough old girl. On her own against the foxes. Poor weather. Wonderful mother of mine. Take to any lamb that loses the ewe. What's the point? Both end up meat. Why did you shout at me? So what happens at home is that something happens. Nothing to do with me, but I'm the one who gets it. Then him, or her, or you, they wind down. But they don't explain, and they don't say sorry. Not exactly sorry. They just change the subject and come creeping round you to show they're not going to shout anymore for a bit. I'm not a kid, Morgan. Or a bloody lamb. Stop this. You don't notice it in a city. How are you going home? Bloody swim if it goes on like this. 
Your mum and dad must have a bob or two. Your fish, your bike, paying for you to stay here. What do they think of the Gregory's? Greg's are the only ones who take me at short notice. They're all right, they leave me alone. Must be funny being shifted about all the time. Doesn't bother me anymore. I don't notice where I am. It's weird, is that? Why? No, it is, Matthew. It's weird. You're weird anyway. <laughs> How? Looking after fish over here. Blowing people to bits over there. It's not like that. Bloody is. Do you miss your mother? Yeah, a bit. Sometimes. It's better now I'm doing more things on the farm. What about your father? Do you miss your two? I don't get on with my father. My better with my mother. I, I what used are you to... skulking up here for? I'm waiting downstairs to be entertained. Orphans of the storm must stick together. Have I interrupted your boy talk? No, it's all right. This is a most peculiar room. Where do I sit? You can sit here. Thank you. You must need your head red roaming about on a night like this. Sanders of the river is floating about somewhere too. I feel neglected. Oh, you still have a white shirt from school, I imagine. I don't think so. You? No. What size collars? What about trousers? Just two pairs of jeans. Where are the other pair? Is this about the party? Well, party may not be exactly the correct word, but you're both presumably capable of handing round drinks. Oh, I'll need a girl, too, to help in the kitchen. What about Sarah Griffiths, Lee? What is Sarah Griffiths? She's a friend of Lee's. You could ask her, couldn't you? Well, I don't pretend to know what's going on, but if she's clean, honest, and a cut above the village harpies, she'll do. I'll buy you shirts. Hello? I imagine you could both look very presentable. Hello, where is everybody? We're in the military aquarium. Something large outside just took a perga. Did you hear it? I've signed them up for the shindig. Good. It was probably the water bug. What are you talking about? Do you want us to go and take a look? Oh, would you? Right. I'll come with you. I hope the damn thing hasn't burst. That Lee child's got to get back somewhere in the hills. Oh, Matthew mustn't take him. It <laughs> blew off the road. He can phone his uncle. All farmers have Land Rovers. No, I'll get the car out. How much of that stuff have you had? No more than you, I suspect. No, the boy's doing us a favor on the 20th. I'll do him a favor now. Oh, what a climate. The bedpan of the year, February in Britain. Did you write to little local Franklin? Well, since the one purpose of the shindig is to wheedle money from his bank, rest assured, Mr. Franklin's invitation was the first. Well, don't worry about the money. The Lord or Mr. Franklin will provide. You'll sort them all out. You're the clever one. You can have precious few brain cells clinging on the way you've been putting that stuff away this evening. Well, as we grow older and pleasures fewer, we must work very hard at those which remain.
last year. Yeah. Are you all right? Oh, well. Black and blue, son. Terrible business. Weaker. Yes. Yes, on the way. Well, Eileen hopes that you're not too badly cut about. Well, I best get on my way. Thank you, sir. Oh, not at all. Glad to have been of service. Night, Captain. Yes, good night, old son. And thank you for bringing him. Not at all. Pity Matthew didn't come. Another pair of hands. Thanks for the drink. Good night, sir. And thank you. Not at all. Uh, it's eased up. Good night. You did well. You did most of it. I ought to have seen to that job a while since. That's the trouble. Two on a farm never gets round the lot. Can I have a bath? Will you manage with your hand? You couldn't have done what you done. A good young un on this farm. We'd soon show him, boy. See? Yeah. Rides upon the storm, storm's dreadful clouds, frowning providence. Well, yes, we had that and more, didn't we? To recent townies like my family and I, it was a frightening experience last night. Our thoughts were very much with you. And yet, high in the hills here, I hear of no houses blown down, or scattered far and wide. 
because your ancestors who built your homes knew what they were doing. They built on firm foundations. Honor thy father and thy mother, the commandment says, that thy days may be long in the land that the Lord thy God giveth. I'll um, look over the van then. Oh, all right. I've got a message for you. Mrs. Gregory, Plas Neward, she asked me to see you. Oh, I'm inside. Thanks. What have you done to your hand? Corrugated. From the barn last night. The wind got in and, you know. You're not getting any better on that tractor. Getting more used to it. Sixth form, are you? School? No, worse luck. Fifth year, O level. I got English, woodwork, and scripture. CSEs. Have to be an undertaker then. Thank you, Gethin. My parents, back from church. Bye. This is Lee from Bliney. I know Lee. Would you like to stay to roast dinner? All right, you can phone Morgan if you want. Great, right, thanks. I checked over the van. I'll uh, be away then. That's right, you clear off home, Price. <laughs> Good meal, sir. Eh? Great, yeah. Pretty girl. Yeah. That's right. Tom Griffiths, not a bad sort. A good farmer. Something I want to show you. What is it? Why do you keep it locked?
old gentleman. Your granddad. He was a hard man. Black and white, right and wrong. He was the hardest worker I ever seen. A strong man. When he took Blaney over, you wouldn't have known it. Everybody said. But she was the brains behind him. She had the softness. Strict in her ways, mind. But she had a way of softness. The old gentleman would never let your nan from the farm. It was your nan. So it were for the best. No you store up bad feeling. She thought of you, Z-Boy. Only seen you once. But she had you in mind. They both would have been gladdened to see you with me last night. See what we done together. No thought for ourselves. They did see it. I don't doubt no they did. You got both of them in your blood, boy. That's only natural. We could see this place back to rights. Mm. Fast learner. I watched you with Pew working. I seen it when you been with me. I saw you take Cap out, try to work some sheep. That's right, boy. No, I was hard on you when I come back yesterday. Wrong on me. When I'd been to the estate, you seen me burn a letter. They wants it out from the family. Blaney. Blaney have been run down too long, they says. The old gentleman passed it on to you and Nan, and now they want it out from me. Fifty years and nothing when we come here. Now, it's a long shot, boy. But we got time. A year. Damn near two years. Hard life for me at your age. No time for courting. I never knowed anything else but this farm. But you're educated. More than me. I was made shy, but you get on with people. That's your mother and you. She could be easy with people. Maybe it was intended. Can you see? You and the town can't settle. Come down here to be with me can't settle. Maybe it was meant. Last night was meant. Show us what we can do if we want to. And maybe two years, a bit more help. But two years, you could get yourself a wife. But how many your grand have a married be 18? Good woman behind us, we'd be well away. I shan't last forever, no matter how much I try. Look to the future, son. They wouldn't try it then, would they? They wouldn't take the tenancy from the family. What say? Stay here and give us some thought. Hmm. Talk later, say. Leave the door unlocked, no?
worst part is him just sitting there waiting. <laughs> you just have to tell him the truth. How do I put the bloody truth to him? It's meant, he says. <laughs> Boy? Your uncle's had an accident. What? Best get away home. Thanks. There's been an accident. Morgan? He's at Blinney. Who phoned? I don't know. Come from Blinney. My uncle's had an accident. Morgan's all right. As right as he'll ever be. What's this all about? There's no accident. Not to Morgan. Take your coat off. What? You. Stay out of this. This is bloody ridiculous. Take your coat off, pretty boy. I'm not going to get into a fight with you. <laughs> then you're going to end up in a fair mess. Why? Get your fancy coat off. I don't even know you. Oh! You spoiled my afternoon today. You know what I'm talking about. You think I like working Sundays? You spoiled her afternoon as well. Know what I'm talking about? Say! Don't step in where you're not wanted, boy. Big, brave mate you've got, yeah. You keep quiet about this. He will. Look at him. Oh. And you keep quiet too. Morgan's dog. If that dog had died, a lot of poison left out for rats round, yeah? Where'd Morgan be without him? So keep it quiet. Piss off. You'd be better from Morgan. Share a bed, is it? Never thought why he ain't married. A pretty boy like you do as well. my physical soon if I'd broken my arm or smashed my hand. You'd be great in the padders. Keep off! Son, Lee? these boots are killing me.
drunk, is it? You best say that. No! I can do it. Cup of coffee? Where you been, boy? It's after one. Walking. Walking where? It's just house on a farm, Morgan. Just stone and wood. It's people that matter, not places. Things just get done differently here. You had some accidents, then? Huh? No. This was intended all right. See? Just leave me alone. 